uh, will be your tour guide to show you how to swim with the crocodiles. Okay. Oh, perfect. Wow. Uh, what is the yeah. name? Moses. Oh, no. Oh, uh, the name of a crocodile? Uh, your name. My name Musa. Musa. You can say it's Moses. It's the same. Okay. Like Moses, Moses in the Bible? Moses in the Bible, that's translated in the Quran, Moses. Oh, okay. Musa. Okay. Yeah, just to make the oldest to understand that it's all the same name. So it's never been bad to call names like that. All right, so you welcome here to the crocodile pool. A hundred crocodiles living in there. One hundred. One hundred of them. Only a hundred. They could be more than a hundred last year. But I do not allow them that I do not allow that to happen because I got to I have to take rid of all the eggs they lay last year for certain reasons. I got two good reasons for that. The first reason is when the pandemic came, Gambia also was part of the world, the countries around the world that go lockdown. And with that lockdown we do not get visitors here. So financially it becomes so strong, tougher for me to feed them because every morning I have to feed them with fish. They eat. 250 kilos of fish. I don't feed them with red meat because I don't want them to smell blood for food. What about white meat? White meat? Perhaps they're gonna have white meat? The French. The French meat? <laughs> there we go. What about what are, what are English and Americans? <laughs> what about English and Americans? Because you know why I said English and Americans? Because English and Americans came to the Gambia early 1944 and they forced our people, not only by slavery, but they forced them and they took them to the World War II. And that was not World War. It was the Western War. And they just took Africa, be part of that war, yeah. and they call it World War. Yeah, and then the history in America or Europe have never been written in any universities or been people not been educated. Universities in America or in Europe that Africa, a small country like Gambia, took part in the World War. But that's because they're co-conspirators. That's it. That's what I said. You're going to feed Americans and English. Mm -hmm. And what they do at the time, when they came to the Africa, they come to Gambia, they go to Senegal, they go to Nigeria, all over Africa. Yeah. They do medical check -up. They would just go and grab people. Yeah. It's compulsory. Yep. And they take them for medical. Yeah. And if you have medical all right, your medical fit, then you go to work. Mm -hmm. If you are like me, somehow some health issues, they say you go home. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the ones that's lucky at 1944. They do not go to the war. Yeah, you can bring the Americans and the British as long as they're white. Yeah, I, 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 did, I, I need Donald Trump more. Yeah, bring them. <laughs> <laughs> and or Nicole Keen. All right, so we can't forget, about, about, them. Can't forget about them, my sister. Thank you for real. I was wondering what's alive. I got one I like to throw in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got the calabash. Hey. Hey, boy, I'm here. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Because of the COVID, I took the eggs away from the crocodiles that I do not want them to have babies. Otherwise, the number could be so past more than 100. Took away all the way. And uh, what happened because. As I said, I feed them with 250 kilos. It's very expensive for me. And I do not get support from the government to look after these things. So this is what happened from last year, 2020, May, eh, sorry, March uh, to December. These crocodiles were looked stranded. There was no food available for them. So they were so, so hungry. So they were absolutely I was so scared to allow people to come in. So I took these in my own that, well, I have to control the population. Because if I don't, uh, when the population so past 100 and the, stay, the situation still look remain the same, that's going to be more tougher for me. So with these reasons, they have to eat 250 kilos. Uh, they have to, I have to control the population to stop the 100 crocodiles so I can have the 250 kilos. It's only January I started to have a good day from the local fishermen that, uh, because they knew me for eight years, I've been looking, buying fish from them. They have to give me fish in loans. 
from January to this month. The end of this month, it will be four months, and then I have to pay what I owe them, and they can continue to give me fish. Otherwise, they're gonna stop. So that's the reason why today, we gonna, I'm gonna allow you to come next to the crocodiles and pet them. But when we are petting the crocodiles, we only don't have to pet on the head, because that's the most sensitive part of the crocodile. They do not want us to pet the head because they feel it is a threat, or we're gonna do something silly that's gonna make them to react quickly to defend themselves. So no petting head, but from the back to the tail, to the crocodile stomach, no problem with that, they have no problem. But I'm going to take you to the only male crocodiles, not the female crocodiles. Because those are the ones that took their eggs, not the male ones. So the females yeah. are upset. The females are more aggressive? No, no. Protective. They, they, they're more protective, but because their eggs are taken away out of them, it's like when you take a baby from the mother. Right. The mother would never appreciate it. Just like slavery, huh? Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to run this way. When we come back, then the crocodiles and my colleague going to try to bring them out here. Then we're going to take some pictures, but we're going to see the big three out there. And the way we come back this way, we're going to see the crocodile we're going to touch, all right? All right, all right let's have a walk. Yeah. When you say right behind me, I'm thinking you told me right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this used to seem like those movies were crocodile eating people and doing all kind of stuff. But family is not one of those things. Let me get your family so this is where we are. That's a teapot. We any every every morning we just go I go in there to look this wood firewood and you see we make fire and the hot water and we have our tea coffee oh okay, oh, okay. Oh, what's, yeah. the, what's the name of that wood it smells pretty good which one the wood the smells wood. good uh we you <coughs> sorry excuse me they come from we they come from different trees oh, okay. so we don't care which tree grind wood we just bring them yes. and we light it and put water oh, and wow. they, yeah and that's how we do things. You don't need electricity? No electricity. You don't pay a bill for that. <laughs> no bill. <laughs> no bill. No, no bill. bill. <laughs> and if you look there, you see, you see our mama's garden. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, What's mama's garden. There? They put a lot of things. They put cabbages. They put uh, tomatoes. Okras. They put uh, oil. Uh, Jabo. Muffin. Onions. Onions. And <clears throat> so, so many things. <laughs> In there, and remember, look, guess what? Early June, July, the rainy season started. No vegetables there. They turned the soil, it's a rice field. Yeah, rice. so our mothers, grandmothers, they work 12, 12 months in a year. So, the first of us, what we do as a child of Africa, when we grow up after all our education, we look for a job. When we got good job, the first thing is our mothers, grandmothers, are our first priority. Our fathers is always there, we support them too. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the st statistic of this country, or most of African countries, what happened, you know, like 100 years, 90 years ago, in this generation, the system is wiping up. Men are getting married for wives, and now the younger generation don't want to do it because we got big families. And uh, at the end of the day, when the men are old, these are the women, they have to step in. They work hard in the gardens, rice field, they work, they sell, they feed us, clothe us, educate us, pay our hospital bills. So they work 24-7, 12 months of the year. So that's why our motors and grandmothers are always, they got a special They're place special in our heart. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because the reason why they're working for 24, uh, 12 months in a year, like if you have it now, you don't yeah. have a storage. Right. Where to keep this? So the only thing is that we throw the donkeys, we need it. Horses will eat it, or you give it to the animals, and then you put another one. Mm. But if you have a storage, you can keep it, you yeah. can continue using it. But there's no storage. Let me ask you something. How many, how many times to turn over a crop can you get in a year? So if you are like this area, you know, they take water from a well. They dig well, small well, right. around. Right. Like if they harvest this one, before the rest is they can put another one. I mean, okay, well, within six months. No, 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 six months. You got, you got, you got, you got okra, okra, okay. uh, cabbage, yeah. cabbage. Stuff like. Uh, in another six months, do you get it? Rice. Yes, you have to rice. 
So, so in two in a year you can get two two harvest two two yeah. harvests. Because because why we have this one we cannot finish eating it. But you have no storage. We don't have no storage mm -hmm. No storage facilities. So you have to eat and like throw it away. if you go to the market you see people throwing them mm -hmm. because they get spoiled. They have no place to put them. Yeah, yeah, great business for those who are listening. Storage, what yeah. happened is that at the end of the day you, you get so much of this in the market and it becomes so uh, too much in the market that people cannot buy all because also financially, you know, people wouldn't go buy because we leave from hound to mouth. It's not like where you're from, like one week you can get shopping and get it in the refrigerators mm -hmm. and they keep it for one week. That doesn't happen. That what we work in a day, that's what we survive on. Oh, okay. So with that, sometimes this becomes a problem in the market that the vendors, the models that sell days in the market, that people wouldn't come too much to buy because they, there's not much money. So sometimes, as he said, it will happen like that. And after the end of day selling, there's no place to store these things, to, to come out tomorrow morning and say, we're gonna sell it again. So they end up throwing it in the market there. So the donkeys or cows or cow, uh, cattle or whatever will come eating it again. So you see, even though they work hard, they still less, le they earn very little. Yeah. So they have to keep walking if they want to sustain the family. Yeah. Sustain the family. Maybe not then. That's not true. No, that's not true. I said, no, that's not true. Yes, because that is head of the family. And that's the farm that our brother's talking about. And you can also see the wells. 